Let's talk about 85 inch long tail for mud skipper. Today I need to take the shaft off, do a little bit of yearly maintenance, getting ready for the river trip down to Wilmington. I'll show you the steps I use and the tools and how I do mud. Stick around. Now as always, if I'm doing work on the boat or the motor, we're going to be using the tools that are in the boat that are available to me while I'm on the water. This is a toolbox I carry with me. So let's see what's inside what we can use to get this shaft off today. All right, inside my shop now. Let's go inside of the toolbox, see what we need to take the shaft off. You get your skipper kit. It's a 13 16th. This fits your spark plug and your prop nut. We're gonna use that. T handle comes with that. Flat tip screwdriver. And if it's wanting to be difficult, a small hammer and brass punch get the prop off. Gotta get the prop nut off. Like I said earlier, it's a 13 six seats if that's what we're using at home. Try to stick with the stuff I have in my box. So get that on there. Go. Just taking the prop, prop nut off often so you don't end up with anything seized. Don't prop your prop nut or your lock washer. It's important that you keep it. So you got to get your prop off without breaking it. Place your punch on the shoulder right here. And I can't do this with two hands, but I'm going to strike the brass punch with the hammer right on the shoulder of the prop, knock it free. Prop's off. Alright, so we got the prop off. We got the prop nut back on that end to keep those threads safe, not to lose the prop nut or washer. We're going to loosen up the T bolts, take the long shaft out. Again, we're going back to the kit supply tool. You use the leverage on the T nuts, break them free, loosen them on up. So you get a little bit of play in there. We'll take our flat bladed screwdriver, stick in there, kind of spread out. So we'll take the long shaft out of the PTO housing now. We've got T-bolts loose, flat bladed screwdriver to separate the PTO housing a little bit. Get the shaft out of the PTO housing, grip the shaft, strike it firmly here, get it to turn, work it back and forth as you're pulling out on it. Just comes right off. Alright, since we got the shaft out, we're going to go ahead and replace the bushing. Replace the bush and you're going to take these two screws out. Make sure we don't lose those. A little magnetic part straight there. Get you a pair of pliers big enough to go around this. We're going to work this back and forth like we did the shaft earlier. Putting a little pressure on it to move out of the shaft. Get a little progress. Yeah. You know, it feels like it's pretty free. There it is. That's the old bushing. New bushing, got this one in the kit. The knife dead blue hammer seated in place. See, there's no holes in here that match up the screws that hold it in place. Put the new one in. Oh, she went in easy. There we go. Got our screws here. That's pretty easy to drill in. You have to 
drill a pilot hole or anything. It goes in pretty easy. The next part is cleaning out the shaft and rejuvenating the wood bushings inside. And I learned this from watching a tie video. This is how they're doing it. We'll put the prop nut back on, protect the threads, place that in in a bucket. It's an upright up here. We'll put a funnel and start putting oil into the shaft so it runs all the way through the length of the shaft. This is going to help rinse out some of that debris in there, rejuvenate the bushings. Once that's done, we'll put her back on the boat. As we're filling the shaft up with oil, you'll see that it pretty much holds a good seal there. It is slowly draining down, so it's going to be a while for it to drain through the shaft. Make sure not to overfill this for don't want oil spilled back everywhere, all over your floor, or your shop, or the ground. We'll give it time to trickle all the way down through all the bushings and back out through that new bushing on the bottom. Once we see oil in the bucket, we'll give it a little bit more time and reassemble everything. Just get the prop shaft put back in. So set it right in your PTO housing, twist it back and forth. Alright, dead blow hammer, we're going to tap the shaft in until we're all the way seated. Once you have the shaft in all the way, you're sure about it, you have engagement of the gears inside the PTO housing, you get your skag in place, we'll take down these t nuts. both good and tight and that's it all right well that's the yearly maintenance on the shaft on the long tail mud skipper that's how i do it keep it old keep my engine my equipment maintained take care of it so it takes care of it i'll see you on the next one